<laughs> Hi David, it's I Justine. Awesome, so nice to meet you. Bye! <laughs> hey, what's up everybody? How's it going? What's going on? Welcome back to another Chow Time video. I'm David Chow. Um, it's been a while since my last video, but uh, as I've said before, um, work and uh, family will always take priority, so I just haven't had much time to put together these videos. I've been recording a lot, but the editing is uh, is taking a backseat to what I'm actually doing uh, for work and family family life. So anyway, that's what I've been up to. Three weeks ago, I almost said two, but three weeks ago, I went on back-to-back uh, -back business trips, and those were very exciting business trips, believe it or not. Um, the first business trip, I went to LA, and there were three celeb sightings. The first celebrity that I saw was on my flight down to LA from Portland, and that was Andrew Garfield. I didn't immediately recognize him at first because he had his back turned towards me and he was shoving stuff, his, his uh, carry-on into the overhead compartment there. And I was just kind of sitting there waiting, waiting for him to get done and he shoved his jacket right up in there and, and instead of turning around to me to, to apologize for taking up a little bit of time, he turned around the other way to sort of avoid any kind of eye contact. Um, but as soon as he sat down, I recognized sort of like, you know how Andrew Garfield's head is kind of like, He's got like a bulbous, the back of his head is, is a little bulbous. So I recognized that and then I was like, oh man, he looks really, really familiar. I wonder who he is. I didn't figure it out until I actually went and sat down in my seat and then I was like, oh my God, I think that's Andrew Garfield. So I did a little bit of snooping around on the internet. Um, I went on Twitter to see if he has an account. He doesn't have an account, but there was a lot of updates saying that he was in the Pacific Northwest. There were spottings of him up in uh, Seattle, Washington, in that area, and there, was, there were posts. So I was like, okay, this is the guy. And I, man, I, like, I was trembling because I wanted like a selfie with him pretty badly. But um, he was unfortunately sitting in business class, business class, and I was sitting in the butt of the plane, like aisle 32 or something like that. And so um, I didn't get a chance. He got off. I was kind of looking over to see if I could, you know, maybe catch him after after we both got off, but no. I couldn't catch up with him and I, I didn't get his uh, autograph or selfie or anything like that. The second celebrity sighting was actually at LAX and that was T.I. It was, it was weird because after uh, my coworkers and I got out of the Uber, I saw this uh, black Escalade pull up. Um, this guy, like in a hoodie, get out of the Escalade, and maybe like a couple bigger guys, I'm assuming they're his bodyguards, followed right after him. And I was going to just like take off and leave my coworkers there behind at the Uber, but I was like, nah, I should probably wait for them. So I waited for them, and I, I missed running up to TI. Um, but when I got up to security, he was on the other side of security. I could see him over there, and then I, I asked one of the agents, I was like, was, was that T.I. just on the other side of uh, uh, security over there? And she kind of did this, she did this. She's... I don't know, look like him though. He's here a lot. So I'm pretty sure it was him, but I'm not 100%. I mean, he, he looked like T.I. and I have a pretty good eye for, uh, for faces. I recognize faces. And so, anyway, he was on the other side of security. There wasn't a whole lot of thing. I couldn't do anything to get near him. Um, so I missed that opportunity. First, Andrew Garfield. Second was T.I. Both missed opportunities. The third one was pretty awesome. I got to my gate and, and then I went back to uh, get some coffee. This is at LAX. I got to my gate, but I had some time to kill, so I was like, uh, I should go get some coffee right now. I'm kind of I'm kind of tired. I'm sleepy. So I went over to Starbucks there, got my coffee, and on the way back, um, I just happened to walk by this blonde chick, and she was just heads down, just you know, doing one of these, just editing away with her her uh, ear pods in, and just working away. And I just happened to notice, that, like, just her profile, just the top of her head, kind of like in this general area. I was like. She looks really familiar. I bet you that's I Justine. And you know what? 
I walked past her a little bit, and then and then I worked up the uh, uh, the uh, the confidence to come back and ask her for a selfie. Man, she was really nice. I was like trembling like this. I didn't even know how to work my phone, but I got this footage of her and me saying hi to me. In hindsight, I would have liked her to say something different, like, hey, it's chow time, but uh, she said hi to me in the video, and uh, I thought that was cool, man. She is, she is awesome. If you don't, if you don't watch her or follow her, she's such a cool person. She reviews tech, she vlogs, um, she's into gaming, and she cooks on her channel. It's a variety of stuff that basically is just like her interest. So check her out, man. She's, she's really cool, really nice person in person, IRL. Then I come back home, all right? So I was in LA for about uh, four days, and, and I fly home on that Thursday. Um, and then I spend the weekend with family, doing family stuff, and, and just kind of uh, recouping from the business trip. Monday, um, the following Monday, I, I got on the plane and headed out to Virginia for a uh, different business meeting. So I was there for a week, and I was like, man, this is, this is getting old. Two weeks of travel, or uh, two weeks of long days in meetings. Um, I, I didn't really get a chance to go out and explore LA. I didn't get a chance to go out and explore uh, Virginia Beach. And I was just like, man, I'm so ready to go home. When I got to the airport, um, everything went pretty smoothly. And then same deal that, that happened with Andrew Garfield happened with Dr. J, Julius Irving, the legend, the living legend. I, as I was walking by him, he, he, he was already sitting down. I walked right by him. And the first thing you notice is his white hair. That's kind of like his, his I don't know, signature look now, right? So I walked past him. I was like, that's Dr. J. I know it's Dr. J. I went and sat down, and um, again, just like Andrew Garfield, what I did was I, you know, I was checking out, checking out uh, Twitter to see if there's anything that any activity that um, kind of tied him back to being in Virginia. There was nothing on Twitter, so I go to Instagram, and I see a picture of him on Instagram that said he was in uh, Norfolk, Virginia, uh, doing something related to basketball, and. I was like, man, I'm going to have to get this, this selfie <laughs> with this celebrity. So um, the whole flight, I was just uh, kind of sitting there figuring out a way that I could get a selfie with him without being a nuisance. And so I just kind of tweeted him, right? I tweeted him asking him if he would mind taking a selfie with me. Um, and of course, he, he, may, he may have seen that tweet, but... Uh, there was no response. So I, I was just thinking, man, okay, I'm probably not going to get this selfie with him. So then we land. And again, he's sitting all the way up in first class, business class. And I'm sitting way at the back of the plane, um, row 30, 32 or something like that again. And I was certain that I was not going to get my chance to meet him in person. So I get out, I, I deplane, I get off the plane and I'm heading to, um, uh, my connection, my, my connecting flight. And just by chance, I look left at the next gate over. So we got out of, of one gate and then I, you know, the next gate over, um, I look over there and there's this tall dude with a hat on, glasses and everything. I was like, I bet you that's Dr. J. And then he kind of did one of these quick turns and I saw the profile of his face and I was like, yep, that's Dr. J. So again, just like I, Justine, I was trembling, I was nervous and everything, but I worked up the courage, went over to him and just said, hey, Dr. J, uh, mind if I get a selfie with you? He was real cool, man. He said, yeah, yeah, sure. So uh, he sat down, he kind of sunk into his seat like this. I think, you know, trying to avoid all the attention that he might he might have gotten. Um, it worked because he was like, <laughs> see the picture, he's really, really low in his seat and he's he's a tall dude. I think he's like 6'6 six, six or something like that. But real tall dude, but sunk down really low to maintain that low profile and, and stay inconspicuous. But I got that selfie with him. I shook his hand, I thanked him, and, and I was on my way. So, man, that was the highlight of the last uh, couple of weeks. Two business trips, long days in meeting rooms and everything, but meeting and, and getting selfies with two celebs, it was pretty darn worth it. I'm, I'm happy. I'm, I'm so happy I'm, I, I was able to meet them.
Anyway, now that you're caught up, that's what's been going on. It's just a lot of work, a lot of family time, and I'm just now getting around to um, editing some of these videos. So thank you for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And uh, hit that um, notification bell, you know? I, I don't know how um, subscriptions work nowadays, but it's if you don't hit that notification bell, you may not know that I've even uploaded a video. So um, again, please subscribe if you haven't already and give it a thumbs up if you like the video. All right, see you in the next one. Ciao. Bye. Thank you so much.